The U.S. Sun can confirm that James Spivey, the ex-boyfriend of teen mom Janelle Evans, has been arrested on a first-degree murder accusation. After her husband, David Eason, was arrested in 2020 on charges of beating him outside the couple's North Carolina home, James, 50, and the former MTV reality star fell out. The U.S. Sun can now reveal that James Riley Spivey is facing serious legal issues following his alleged shooting and death of Cody Allen Gales, a 30-year-old man. The U.S. Sun was able to obtain a report from the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office that states that James used a handgun to shoot Cody in Supply, North Carolina. The event happened on December 8, 2023, at 8.49 p.m., 40 minutes to Wilmington Southeast. According to the report, James unlawfully, willfully, and feloniously did of malice a forethought kill and murder Cody Gales. For this, he was charged with first-degree murder. James is still being held while the death investigation is still being conducted. His court date was set for December 11 at 2 o'clock p.m. local time. According to a Facebook profile that matches his name to the allegation, Cody posted a troubling message for his followers on the day of the shooting. He posted, Still trying to turn these names in before they find a way to poison me and make me look guilty like I would ever just roll over and die from some bees a asterisk asterisk disease. Mao hashtag I do work out. I'm a stronger mental person than most, and I know that every name I've been reporting is guilty of the things I've been reporting. They keep stomping me, but I won't stop myself from reading more than the typical person. His relative created a GoFundMe page after his passing to assist with funeral expenses. On Friday night, my cousin Cody Gales got shot and died. Unfortunately, the family doesn't have insurance to bury him. Brittany Bellamy wrote on the website, We would be grateful for any donations. James Spivey and Janelle Evans, 31, were close friends until an alleged incident that occurred three years ago. According to earlier reports from the U.S. Sun, David was taken into custody in North Carolina on June 12, 2020, on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon and making threats. After a week of arguments with her husband, Janelle allegedly brought two acquaintances, James and his then-partner Joshua Galloway, to the family home to get her belongings. After fighting, David did assault James with a deadly weapon a Springfield handgun, by hitting James Spivey in the back of the neck and on his back with the handgun, according to the arrest warrant that the U.S. son was able to get. The warrant states that David threatened to blow James F. Asterisk Asterisk King brains out. After the argument, James told the U.S. son that Janelle went back to their house in North Carolina and, despite her promise to do so, did not get a restraining order against David at the time. He revealed, she says she lives with family, but that's not the case. She is residing on the land. They have reconciled. After James shoved him into a coat rack, David later filed a criminal summons against him. However, a source told the U.S. Sun that the charges were untrue and intended as payback for James. August 2020 saw the dismissal of the accusations against Janelle's husband, according to Columbus County Court as confirmed by the U.S. Sun. David's criminal summons against James for assault with a deadly weapon has also been dropped, according to the court clerk. In the end, Janelle decided to support her husband, which caused the friends to become estranged. I wish them the best, whatever that may be, James said at the time to the U.S. Sun. We are done with them as far as my partner and I are concerned. There won't be a friendship renewal. The done is the done. They are not required to ensnare others in their drama. I'm not interested in interacting with her. David was charged with child abuse in late October of this year, following an alleged attack on Janelle's 14-year-old son Jace in late September. Janelle spoke to the Daily Mail immediately following the filing of the misdemeanor child abuse accusation against the teen mom star. She defended her husband and blamed her son's mental condition for any legal problems her family may be having. 
According to Janelle, the publication, right now, the police are investigating the wrong person. Something disgusting is happening, and it has nothing to do with my spouse. This story is one-sided, and no interviews were conducted asking what happened when the incident occurred. The U.S. Sun revealed last week that the reality star's kid was offended by her public comments supporting David, and as a result, she was placed under a gag order in her Child Protective Services case. 